This is the Alpaca Elements Tech Case Mini. Right now I got it stuffed with some everyday carry items. In a minute I'll put some other stuff in here. We'll get a good look at the size of this thing, how it carries, what it carries, some of the pockets, some of the organization. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kendrick Dish. On this channel, we talk about some of the stuff that we use to help us be creative. And for me, that is bags, pouches, backpacks, travel bags, all the things that help me get from where I'm going to where I'm at, or from where I'm at to where I'm going, whatever. That's how I roll. So bags are a big part of that, and I'm always looking at the new stuff. This is the Alpaca Elements Tech Case Mini. So obviously I test and carry a whole lot of different bags. It's nice to be able to use pouches like this to put stuff in and then just be able to rotate the pouch around to the different bags. So that's what, um, that's what I was looking for is some new pouches. So I got several, I'm testing some different stuff. And what's really great about this one that I really like is that it can also be a sling. So it comes with a strap that hooks on here and here and you can put it on as a sling. Now I did carry it like that. This isn't something I would think of myself doing a whole lot of. Um, I'm not, uh, it feels like a, a purse, like a merce. And so I've kind of embraced that idea and been like, all right, well, let me give that a try. I'll carry this around like a purse. And, um, I just didn't find that most of the time I needed to carry this stuff around. So uh, I, I, I'm still not totally sold, but it is nice to be able to have um, some of the things that are in here. So let me take this, let me take the strap off so it's no longer in the way. So as you can see on the outside, there is a grab handle. This handle is actually uh, a nice feature to have. And specifically the way I might see that working out is to be able to hook this on things, to be able to use this as a, um, something to hook on. And in particular, maybe in the airplane, you hook this on your, on the back of the seat in front of you, and maybe it can hang there. Um, or in a car, it can hang somewhere inside of a car. So I think that enhances the travel aspect of this case. This is the olive green version of the x pack x42 fabric you can see that it's got the uh you can see that it's got the the x pattern on there uh this is probably my first experience with this kind of fabric and it's a little crinkly you can kind of hear that um but this thing feels very very durable um it feels rugged it feels durable the fabric is weatherproof. Uh, they use the words waterproof on their website, including they say that the zippers, these AquaGuard zippers are waterproof. Uh, that is not something I'm going to claim. Uh, I reckon if they're saying it is probably true, but I think these are more water resistant style zippers. Um, but I believe that this would keep your stuff dry in, uh, in the rain anyway. I don't think if you dunk this underwater I bet that water is getting in. So that's that's what I'm thinking. Now, the little pull tabs are made from some sort of um, rubbery type of material, but they're comfortable to hold. So the strap that comes with it is, uh, it's, a, it's just a piece of nylon webbing, I think. Um, and it's got these kinds of clips right here. Uh, it, it does adjust to different sizes and it does that pretty easily. And it's got a, a little strap keeper that comes with it. So that is uh, quite good, but that's pretty much the extent of the entire strap. Now, uh, it's it's pretty long, it can get pretty long, which is great because I'm a pretty tall guy and for me to wear it comfortably, I did not have to extend the strap all the way, but I'll put the, the fully extended length of this thing on the screen right there um, because I don't know it right now. So, but it's pretty long. All right, you can kind of see the that this thing is packed full. It's about as 
packed as I feel comfortable making it and you can get a good sense of the size of this thing. Let's go ahead and unzip it and open it. As you can see, it is an accordion style opening and it's got gussets here on the side to protect your stuff from falling out. However, the gussets are not sealed down here at the bottom. So as you can see, I can put my finger through. And so something small could fall out, a little tiny screw or, a, or a something uh, could fall out through that gusset. It's not a big deal, but, um, but be aware. So in here, I have uh, just some regular daily carry style items, uh, some headphones, some chapstick, flashlight. That's what I have inside that pocket. So as you can see here, there are a couple of pockets that are stretch mesh. They're very nice stretch mesh. I haven't come across a fabric quite like this in any of my other bags yet, but this is a very nice fabric. Uh, I have a Leatherman tool and I have this Anchor 3 device charger. This can charge a laptop or at least a USB-C powered laptop. It's got a USB-A and uh, an additional for a phone. So that's actually pretty handy. It shrinks the, it shrinks the, the need for a bigger cable quite a bit. And so with that, I, in the other stretch mesh, I have my charging cables. So this is a USB-C cable and a lightning to USB-C cable. And that is all I have in those pockets. The pen, it has a pen holder. This pen holder is, uh, this is a, just a regular standard size pen. And uh, it doesn't it doesn't stay in here very well. It's it's pretty loosey goosey right there. And uh, and also my pen is if I put it all the way in there, it's kind of long, and you can see that it sticks out just a little bit. So it needs to come in a little before zipping up, and that gives it a lot of play. And that I think they could have solved that with a longer pen holder. It's not a terribly big deal, and larger pens uh, won't have this problem. But since this is just a standard regular old pen it's a little problematic let's flip over and look at this side um, inside here you've got a large pocket that would fit a, a pretty large device and this they say this can fit a, a kindle reader but in it i have a little battery uh, backup for my phone um, in, you can see inside of there that this, most of all this is, is orange. They call this the orange honeycomb, a blood orange honeycomb 200D ripstop nylon on the inside. And it does seem very, very durable. So uh, the ripstop nylon is, is, it's a pretty good option. But on this pocket here, uh, one side of it is a felt-ish kind of material. So it's softer so it can handle screens. And then as you can see here, there is a zipper. Let's open that and inside of that pocket, I've got another cable just for the charging devices. But inside of each one of those is a little tiny three pockets. There's something for like maybe an SD card or some coins or something of that nature. And you can protect all that with a, a zipper so it doesn't fall out. That's mostly what we see on the inside of here. One pocket here on the outside for external carry, and this is good for presumably keys or something of the sort. Right now I've got some business cards in there and I've got a little notebook and that is what fits in there pretty easily. There is a little more room in there. Like this pocket has, you can see it right here, it's got some uh, depth. So I could fit something like that in there without it being a big problem. Something with some depth. So it's not a totally flat pocket. It's got its own individual space. 
Okay, so for me, I feel like this is a little bit small. This is the Elements Tech Case Mini, and I perhaps should have gotten the Elements Tech Case. I think I need something a little bit bigger. And one of the needs that I have is I want to carry around this device, which is my very large anchor charger. This thing can charge a laptop. Uh, and so that's why I want this thing is because mostly it's my laptop that dies and I want juice. So being able to have uh, this thing with me is important, but I can get it in here. It just takes up so much of this extra space. I can't fit everything else in here. And still get it zipped up. It just doesn't all fit. I have too many I have too many big items. Okay, but there was one thing I wanted to try, which is I wanted to see, I wanted to show off that if you wanted it just as a bag, a little pouch to go along with your computer peripherals, uh, this bag, this pouch does work pretty well. So let's put in our normal daily carry peripherals. And that includes uh, the normal size charger for the laptop. Let's just drop that in to the main pocket right there. Let's put the cable in next to it. Let's put the mouse in next to that. Let's take, this is a uh, card reader. I'm a photographer, so I always carry a card reader since my laptop doesn't have SD ports. Put that, put that cable in there. Uh, it's always good to have some headphones. Let's put those inside this pouch so they don't get too tangled up. And another dongle can go in that area. And then let's go ahead and put in this battery. This is going to be the biggie. Can it go in with all of these things? The answer is no. I can't get, I can't get everything closed. But this this thing is this thing is just, it's just too big. Otherwise, this works quite well to go along with the laptop. You just take these and. There you go. This is a 13 inch MacBook Pro. And there you go. This is quite a good solid made pouch. It's one of my first Alpaca products. And I think they did a fantastic job with the materials and the fit and finish of this bag. I think it's not the, not the case that I should have gotten, but that's no fault of theirs. Um, there are other cases that I, other little pouches that I need to be looking at. And so the hunt continues for the perfect pouch, the perfect bag, the perfect backpack, the perfect suitcase and the perfect place to travel to. That's the hunt. I'll catch you guys on the next one.